Okay, let me explain kind of how I do it. So the first thing I had to do was create a column and fill that column with a starting number. How many items I currently have in stock? Let's say it's 100, all right? Okay, then, uh, just like you, I created a multiple relation to the transaction and then did a count to see how many of those items have been purchased. Then I created a math column that's subtracting that total number, that 100, right, from the count. So you can see I have a total minus the count. And that gives me a number that I have remaining left in stock. Right. Now, eventually, this number will reach zero. And what you can do then is on your shop page, right, let's say pencils reached zero, is for the this buy button here, right, you would set a visibility where uh, it would only show when remaining, that math column, is greater than zero. So if it's less than or equal to zero, then this button would disappear and your users would no longer be able to purchase the item, right? So that way your items wouldn't go into negative. Uh, what you could also do is add a text box here, just some rich text and just type it in manually that says, you know, item out of stock, uh, please check back later and make the visibility of that text box so that when visibility is less than or equal to zero, that text will display. Now, the only thing that I haven't really worked on yet, but I know how to do it in theory, would be, okay, so let's say pencils reached zero, and now we need to replenish our stock, right? Currently, what I could do is let's say I bought another 100 pencils, right? What I could do is just go here to this number and add 100 to it, like so, right? Which then would affect the math column and then would um, allow the button to be reappear again. But it's kind of deceiving because my starting number wasn't 200. My initial count was 100. So in order to combat that, what you could do is create a new sheet and call it replenishing stock and then create a form button where when you enter in a row of data or if you have a form button that writes to that row, uh, you could have you know, your item name and how many, uh, your quantity that you replenished. So it could be like pencil and then 100. And then you do a relation, a multiple relation from your shop to that replenish sheet and get a roll up of the count of replenished per item as well. And you'd include that here as a column, right? So let's say my lookup, let's go back here again to that, where is it? Transactions, transactions, okay, here. All right, so this is my transactions, but maybe right next to it, I have my relation to the replenished, and then another roll up, right? That's counting the sum of the quantity that was purchased. And then what I would do is I would create a math column that adds that original total, 100, to the roll up of the replenished, so like 100 plus 100, and make that the new total where this math column is pulling from, right? So instead of having it be the total being the original 100, this column here would be my new math column of the total plus the replenished. And then you'd have the same number, um, and it's more dynamic that way. That way I'm not coming in here and just editing this 100 number, but I, it's, it's doing a math instead, math column, which is a little bit more uh, probably best practice for accounting purposes and that sort of thing. So um, hopefully this has helped, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.